Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm showing you how to make this cranberry gelled salad. If you're looking for anything cranberry on your Thanksgiving Day table, this will definitely be the recipe to make. Simple and easy to do. First, you're gonna need a 14 ounce can of your gelled cranberry sauce. You're going to need two three ounce packages of your raspberry jello. This is your regular raspberry jello. You're going to need a cup of sour cream. I just buy the eight ounce tub. I'm going to be able to use all this and a cup of walnuts. Now, if you want to swap this out for pecans, you may. If you want to leave the nuts out, you may do that too. And you're going to need two cups of boiling water. Now, let me show you how we're going to get this together. You're going to need two medium sized bowl and I just use glass and I've been digging my gel cranberry out of the can because you want small little pieces of your cranberry sauce in the next bowl you're going to add both your packages of your raspberry jello here goes one cup of boiling water into the cranberry sauce with a whisk we're just going to whisk it around if you think you're going to put this in a blender or use a beater to mix it up don't do it it's going to get frothy on you and it's what you don't want so you're just going to keep working with it Till all this cranberry gel has dissolved in this boiling hot water. Add a cup of boiling hot water to your raspberry jello and you're just going to whisk it around till all your jello has dissolved in this boiling hot water. Very important that you keep working with it until all your jello's dissolved and all your cranberry sauce is dissolved in this cup of boiling water. I've been using a slotted spoon to really break up that gelled cranberry sauce until it's looking like this. We're going to add this in with our jello and just add it very slowly because you don't want it splashing about. With a whisk we're going to make sure the jello and the gelled cranberry sauce oh my goodness that smells absolutely fantastic we're going to add half of this to an eight by eight inch serving dish here's one cup and here's two cups and if you have any bubbles you can just pop them out cover this with plastic and refrigerate up to one to two hours for the remaining cranberry mixture we're just going to cover with plastic and leave it at room temperature. I've had my first layer of this jello in the refrigerator up to one hour and I've taken my container of my sour cream and I'm going to add little dollops here to the top until I use my whole container which is eight ounces which equals a cup. After you use the whole container it should be looking like this and then you're just going to even it out. And we want to be able to see a little jello through the sour cream because the top layer of our jello is going to seal it. So here's our top layer that we're going to slowly, we're just going to slowly pour it over the top. You want to make sure you get your, your sour cream down in the bottom just like this. Now to the top, we're going to sprinkle the walnuts. Now you can put the walnuts in your cranberry mixture before you add it to this top layer. But I just love the rustic look it gives this cranberry sauce. You want to give it a little tap. This goes back in the refrigerator covered overnight. I'm going to dig into our cranberry gelled salad and I want to show you what it looks like on the inside. I probably should let it sit in the refrigerator for a little longer. Let me go ahead and show you what it's like on the inside. Ooh, and I love those beautiful nuts on the top. And you can see that sour cream. And let me tell you, y'all, if you're looking for a fantastic side dish to go with your Thanksgiving Day dinner, this is definitely the cranberry side dish to make. Got to give it a little try. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, the tartness from that gelled cranberry and the flavor of that raspberry jello 
with that sour cream and those nuts y'all it's just a win-win this is going to go fantastic with your turkey your stuffing your gravy mashed potatoes green beans sweet potato casserole i wish each of you a happy and peaceful thanksgiving with your family and friends you gotta give this cranberry gelled salad a try leave me a comment leave me thumbs up here on youtube or instagram and i'll catch you next time